Good morning students. Welcome to Leela's tutorial. So today we will discuss super ovulation process. Super ovulation is also termed as super stimulation process as it is a process of stimulating or increasing the more number of eggs which has to be produced. So here you can see normally one egg will be produced at a time. That is when you observe one single estrus cycle only one follicle will be ruptured and it will release one oocyte or the egg cell. But in case of super ovulation you are increasing the hormone. So here you are increasing the gonadotropin hormone by means of giving injections or the tablets. So here the animal instead of producing one oocyte right. For single ester cycle, it will produce more than one oocyte or the eggs, right? Eggs or immature oocytes we call, right? So here you are increasing the number of ovules, sorry, increase the number of eggs which are produced. So here you can see the increase of gonadotrophin, how they are increasing by giving the drugs, right? So the drugs or the medicines are uh, injected into the animal so that it will produce more number of eggs. So if you here observe the animal reproductive system right in this you can see the fallopian tubes right and this is the ovary with the follicles. So each follicle per estrocycle cycle it will produce only one oocyte but here you can observe due to the hormonal effect right it is not that only one side it will be produced i am sh showing this is without any super ovulation it is a normal process whereas here you can observe if the super ovulation treatment is started then it will the follicle will result in production of more number of oocytes or the egg cells is that clear so here these are the oocytes which are produced so why you need to produce so here in case of IVF IVF is in vitro fertilization which we'll discuss in the next class right so in case of in vitro fertilization we go when there is uh, when there is requirement of more number of oocytes or where you are manipulating the oocytes genetically modifying the oocytes in that case you need to go for super ovulation and extracting or aspirating those ovules then modify them right then put it back into the surrogate mother right so that it will result in the formation of the baby so in this case where the animals are subjected to super ovulation so that single animal can produce only minimum number of progeny in its lifetime offsprings in its lifetime so here you can't increase the reproduction rate but you can increase the ovulation rate so that at a time you can extract more than three eggs right so you are getting instead of one attempt when only one offspring or the one calf is obtained here you the cow can produce three calves at a time right so here in case of IVF, this is one of the stage where you are giving the super ovulation so that the more number of oocytes or the eggs are produced. After that, he, it is the oocyte retrieval by aspiration process. So here you can see the oocytes are formed. This is before the hormonal treatment and this is after hormonal treatment where the more number of oocytes are produced by the animal so now these eggs has to be aspirated out in vitro so IVF is in vitro fertilization you are allowing the fertilization of the egg and the sperm in lab condition so you have to extract or you have to aspirate these ovules out of the body right so here this is the ultrasound probe and this is the aspiration needle so ultrasound probe and the aspiration needle will be introduced into the vagina right they are introduced into the vagina then by the scanning probe you will be focusing the fallopian tubes and the oocytes and by using the aspiration needle you will be aspirating the oocytes so here you can see the aspiration needle is connected to the 
collection tube right when you aspirate that means you are going to suck it right so that here there is an suction pump which is connected to the collection tube so due to the they observe the oocytes by using the ultrasound probe by introducing inside they observe through the probe and then the oocytes will be aspirated with the aspiration needle so that when the suction pump is on they will be sucked inside and they are collected in the collection tube so here you can see the oocytes are collected so after collection of the oocytes they are cultured in the lab for two days then after that you are allowing them to get fertilized with the sperm cells that is in vitro fertilization after that fertilization you are going to introduce that into the foster mother or the surrogate mother so here the foster mother means from the animal or the mother animal from whom you are aspirating the oocytes if you are putting back into the same animal you call it as foster mother if you are aspirating the oocytes from this animal and after in vitro fertilization if you are introducing into another animal then you call that as surrogate mother right so here after in vitro fertilization then it will be introduced into the foster mother or the surrogate mother which result in multiple pregnancy where it is nothing but the formation or production of offsprings that is in twins or the triplets are produced is that clear so here the super ovulation or the super stimulation is a process where you are increasing or allowing the animal to produce more than the normal number of egg cells right so here it plays a very important role in in vitro fertilization process okay so if you have any doubts put it in comments subscribe for further video